Manor Charitable Foundation. Overview, established in 1971 as an interfaith humanitarian relief agency, we covered documents described the Manor Charitable Foundation's mission as sharing all of God's miracles with the least of his children. Funded indirectly through associations with various charitable groups and religious organizations, and on occasion, publicly endorsed by wealthy philanthropists or academic institutions, the MCF's primary agenda since its founding has been the free distribution of anomalous objects or their byproducts to civilians living in poverty-stricken regions in the Third World or in areas affected by warfare, famine, or natural disaster. The MCF is currently recognized as a non-governmental organization by the United Nations and is known to operate legally and illegally in several hostile or isolated regions outside the Foundation's sphere of influence. While no SCP objects known to have been distributed by the MCF to date have caused intentional harm to human beings or communities, and detained MCF operatives tend to demonstrate strong pacifist beliefs, containment breaches associated with the group have often resulted in human casualties or severe threats to the global status quo due to unforeseen consequences of the objects released from containment and or a seal to distribute potentially helpful objects immediately without rigorous scientific study of their long-term behavior. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited Overview A club based in London, England, catering to the super-rich and with extensive political and financial ties worldwide, this group has caused extensive problems for the Foundation. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited is known for collecting rare and obscure items, along with providing its members the most exclusive, expensive, and rare experiences available. These activities have resulted in conflict with the Foundation on numerous occasions. The group is not known for the use of force. They prefer to apply extreme financial and political pressure to achieve their goals. When forced to use more direct means, Marshall Carter and Dark Limited employs outside agents and it's very difficult to connect said agents to the organization. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited has caused several SCP containment breaches, primarily through the use of money or social pressure. Several reports, records, and even items have been leaked by Foundation personnel who had been approached with large amount of money, or threats of extensive jail time or torture. Notably, two containment sites were almost brought to public attention after the Foundation refused access to members of Marshall Carter and Dark Limited. Information pertaining to Marshall Carter and Dark Limited such as the name of the director or even a list of members has proven very difficult to acquire. Agents encountering members of this group are advised to maintain a cover story and not, for any reason, reveal Foundation ties or SCP information. Nobody Overview Little is currently known about the person, entity, or group known as Nobody. First sighted in 1954, they have had numerous appearances since. There has only been one person seen at any given time, typically described as a male Caucasian dressed in a grey suit and fedora. If asked his identity, he replies that he's nobody. However, it is not known if this is the work of a single person or multiple agents of a single unknown agency. Their gender is currently unknown, sometimes helping the Foundation, sometimes hindering it. Caution is recommended if any agents encounter an operative identifying themselves as nobody. Office for the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts, Aurea Overview The Office for the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts, or Aurea, is a paramilitary force answerable only to the Supreme Leader of Iran dedicated to the collection and utilization 
of anomalous artifacts throughout the Middle East and Central Asia. Following the 1979 overthrow of the Imperial Iranian government by revolutionary forces and subsequent creation of the Islamic Republic of Iran, all Foundation personnel were expelled from Iran as agents of colonialism. Attempts at maintaining a clandestine presence in the country met with failure, with the majority of Foundation personnel either captured or killed, and sites beep beep and beep being captured by Iranian forces. To prevent Iran from being left behind in the field of extra-normal research, the Aurea was created by a secret decree of Supreme Leader Khomeini in 1981. Despite its name, the group has not limited itself to the pursuit of anomalous objects of Islamic origin. Although the Aurea has access to considerable resources, its effectiveness is hobbled by infighting among numerous factions within the organization. Some of these disputes center around philosophical differences, such as the weaponization of anomalous objects, while others appear to be personal in nature. The proliferation of factions appears to have been intentional, as the organization of the Aria often leaves multiple commanders with overlapping areas of responsibility. It is theorized that the reasoning behind this arrangement was to prevent any one individual from accumulating enough power to pose a challenge to the supreme leader. With the spread of Iranian hegemony throughout the Middle East and Western Asia, the Aria has expanded its reach across the region, becoming the foremost paranormal organization in the Middle East. The Aria is to be considered a hostile force, and Foundation personnel are advised to use extreme caution when engaging. Honorary Collective Overview Information about the Honorary Collective has come to the Foundation only through analysis and interviews of the anonymous objects they leave behind. It is believed to be a collective consciousness of dreaming persons and dream-based entities. Intelligence has shown that they have been documented by other groups of interest, usually to a degree similar to the Foundation's interaction. The Honorary Collective is apparently capable of contacting even highly isolated entities like nobody. The goals, if any exist, are currently unknown. Power Watch Overview The Power Watch Wiki is an online web forum of conspiracy theorists, paranormal enthusiasts, and amateur writers operating with the intent of investigating and exposing anomalous phenomena. The group primarily complies short stories on the forum, detailing encounters with paranormal phenomena, historical cases, and any unusual events users have experienced. Further operation and any potential impact on normalcy is hindered by the geographic spread of the user base and the lack of central coordination. Despite investment in the paranormal, Power Watch has no knowledge on the nature of anomalous phenomena, the veil, and the Foundation's existence. This, in tandem with public obscurity, has prevented them from potentially endangering the veil. The group is currently being left active as a means of misinforming and misleading other investigations into the anomalous. Prometheus Labs, Incorporated. Overview. Founded in 1892, Prometheus Labs was dedicated to researching anomalous objects for use in developing new technologies. Over the years, Prometheus Labs developed into a multinational conglomerate selling advanced and anomalous technologies to government, militaries, and groups of interest. Throughout its history, Prometheus Labs displayed a nominal amount of cooperation with Foundation effort to protect normalcy, and at times even cooperated with the Foundation, but refused to cease its study of anomalies and resisted Foundation oversight. In 1998, following a long period of financial decline, the Prometheus Labs conglomerate was dissolved, resulting in the creation of numerous successor companies formed from its subsidiaries. The breakup of the conglomerate was fraught with 
technical and administrative difficulties, resulting in the loss of many products and the layoffs of numerous personnel. Most of the former projects of Prometheus Labs now in containment were recovered during this time, and many of its former employees were hired by the Foundation. Socket Cult Overview Sarkism is a religious philosophical system that encompasses a variety of traditions, beliefs, and spiritual practices largely based on teachings attributed to Grand Causes Eon, its deified founder. Adherents practices ritual cannibalism, human sacrifice, corporeal augmentation, thaumaturgy, and dimensional manipulation. Highly secretive, the general public appears to have no direct knowledge of their existence, the one exception being the Church of the Broken God, who fuels them in apocalyptic terms. Organic manipulation has allowed certain sarcocytes to achieve anomalous states of being, transcending the physical limitations of baseline humans. Disease is viewed with reverence, and sarcic shrines have been discovered with offerings of swollen lymph nodes and numerous growths. Sarcic cult treat contagions as consecration, a means to cull the weak and purify the masses, and thus actively seek to ensure their spread. The Foundation divides known psychic cults into two distinct strands, proto psychic and neo psychic proto psychic cults can be found in insular communities throughout Eurasia's most isolated regions. Its followers generally poor, if self-reliant, and hostile towards outsiders. Such groups exude modernity, display acute technophobia, and are bound by superstition and taboo. In contrast, neo socket cults are cosmopolitan, publicly embracing modernity and showing no apparent qualms with technology. Their public lives differ little from others of their culture and social status. Adherents are primarily affluent families, rich in history and scandal. Ultimately, it is believed that the Foundation only knows a fraction of what Sarxism is and what its followers intend. Based on the available information, the speculated goals of Sarkic cult represent an SK-class dominance shift, including the possibility of an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. The Serpent's Hand Overview the Serpent's Hand is a small but formidable organization responsible for several security breaches. At least three different individuals have been encountered, all of whom used possible or confirmed anomalous items for infiltration purposes, including SCP-268, which was stolen from the Foundation, who had in turn recovered it during a raid of a Chaos Insurgency facility. The total number of members belonging to this organization is unknown, as is their level of technology, number of possible SCPs held, or total level of threat. However, it is clear they are highly coordinated and possibly dangerous. One of their leaders is thought to be a figure known as LS, who is considered to be personally responsible for two security breaches in Foundation sites. The Foundation currently has very little information about the Serpent's Hand, and almost all known information about the Serpent's Hand has been leaked from the GOC intelligence. The group seems to embrace the use and existence of paranormal items, and in particular seems to embrace humanoid and sentient SCPs. The Serpent's Hand has been highly vocal in criticizing the containment and destruction of these SCPs, especially those which are fully human and are not particularly destructive. The group seems to have unfriendly relations with the Chaos Insurgency and Theoria, and an extremely hostile relationship with the GOC. The only recorded cases of unprovoked violence by Serpent's Hand members has been against GOC agents. The Serpent's Hand seems primarily based on an anomalous location called the Wanderer's Library, a building accessed through portals found in many different parts of the world. 
Direct assault on the library have so far proven unfeasible, even when entrances could be found. However, initial intelligence seems to suggest the hand has little understanding or control over the place. Attempts to infiltrate the Wanderer's library are ongoing. Shark Punching Center Overview The Shark Punching Center, also known as the Selikian Punching Center, the Selikorsk Punch Combine, among others, is an organization located in one or more parallel universes, apparently acting as an alternate universe counterpart to the Foundation. While the Foundation has known of the center for several decades, the structure, documentation, and general tone taken by the Shark Punching Center varies wildly, suggesting one or more universes are in a state of flux. Documents pertaining to the Shark Punching Center have been recovered and indicate a much more militaristic and unstable tone than a Foundation document. A certain name would suggest the SPC is mostly focused on furthering hand-to-hand -hand combat as a means to neutralize Selekian entities, though some documentation fails to differentiate between Selekian and Aquatic. It is unclear if the Shark Punching Center has any knowledge or concern of or with Foundation activities. The Three Moons Initiative Overview the Three Moons Initiative is an extra-dimensional human military organization based in SCP-2922-C, an afterlife also known as Kopernik. Through a partnership with the Kopernik deity Jalakar, they act as a multi-dimensional security force for the protection of the human race. While initiative personnel believe that they are operating in humankind's best interest, military overreach, poor communication, Issues with internal bureaucracy and other factors, combined with the disproportionately high military strength to our own, have made them a potential liability to public safety in our dimension. As such, they maintain an unstable peace with the Foundation. Operatives of the Three Moons Initiative are to be treated with extreme caution. Unusual Incidents Unit, UIU Federal Bureau of Investigation Overview The Unusual Incidents Unit was formed after the onset of the Cold War, when many aspects of the American government were focused on utilizing the anomalous and preventing the communists from doing the same. This led to the creation of a special FBI division devoted to rapid response to paranormal events and crimes. Director J. Edgar Hoover was presently involved with their creation. Although initially given significant funding and resources by the American government, following the end of the Cold War and the dissolution of enemy organizations such as the GRUP, the UIU had been in a state of decline for many years. Disparagingly referred to as X-Files and UI useless by the larger anomalous community. The agency is generally well-meaning, but due to a lack of financial resources, little manpower, and bureaucratic obstruction by the U.S. government, it is often perceived as ineffective. The influence of the Foundation and Global Co Coalition in the United States government has stopped the UIU and other U.S. government entities dealing with anomalous activity, such as the U.S. Air Force's 616th Squadron, Roswell's Revengers, and U.S. Navy SEAL Team Bravo Papa Romeo Delta from being dissolved entirely. FBI agents and special agents who joined the Unusual Incidents Unit often have backgrounds in psychology, STEM fields, and art studies. As part of the Patriot Act, agents of the unit are required to be administered personalized medic sciencing agents. PMSA, correctly referred to as gag orders by agents of the UIU to avoid leaks. The Unusual Incidents Unit has been known to engage in combat alongside and against various anomalous organizations in the past, including participating in several combat operations under Foundation supervision in the 1950s and 1960s and a Black Mumbo incident in Afghanistan in 1976, an infamous skirmish 
between UIU agents and members of GRUP. Currently, a division of the Unusual Incidents Unit oversees the autonomous anomalous state of three Portlands. An example of underfunding and understaffing in the Unusual Incidents Unit can be seen in its sole remaining division in the Midwestern United States. Wilson's Wildlife Solutions Overview Wilson's Wildlife Solutions is a paranormal publicly funded wildlife service based in Cogamus County, Oregon, specifically in the town of Boeing. Although the foundation has known of Wilson's Wildlife Solutions existence and anomalous affiliations since 1999, it took nine years until the Ursus Maritimus incident in 2008 for their existence to be officially recognized and a relationship established between the two groups. Currently, the Boeing Agreement outlines that Wilson's Wildlife Solutions should be supervised by MTF Beta 4 castaways local to Site 64 and that they may handle containment of safe or Euclid fauna based anomalies and varying degrees of foundation intervention on a case to case basis. Amendments to the Boeing Agreement can be and have been made to account for grey areas or new policies as necessary.